Hello, third, fourth, and fifth grade teachers. Today I wanted to show you what it would look like if you assigned any lessons in Moby Max other than math. I know we're pretty familiar with how that works for math, but I wanted to show you what it would look like if you assigned specific lessons based on what you have been working on in class and also what um, options you have for your students beyond, beyond math. So I'm gonna sign in as ICE cream that's my cool fun name that i use for the older kids so signing in all right hello ice cream all right so the first thing you're going to notice is that ice cream has specific assignments from the teacher they have assignments in adjectives and adverbs and they have assignments in equivalent fractions so let's take a look we know what the math lessons typically look like let's take a look at what it looks like if we assign a language lesson All right, we're gonna turn it up. I have my computer silenced, okay? So it will talk to them. All right, when they use their... Ask for a red apple. The word red would let everyone know what kind of apple we wanted. So let's look at some adjectives there that is tell a what short kind. teaching section Many adjectives ahead tell about things we can learn from of our senses, when before they like ask the, the students to demonstrate loud, knowledge so sweet, that's what a language sweet. lesson looks like i'm trying to be brief to keep this video kind of short same thing for lessons that are assigned in math there's a short teaching section an interactive section that the student would go through before the lesson another option that you have is our language it's very similar to math right here but for language, the student is going to be asked to take a quick placement test, just like they do at the beginning of the year. And then they work at their own level um, based on their placement test, just like they do in math. Another option for a student would be vocabulary. The vocabulary is based on, um, the vocabulary Today, is also we'll based on a placement test. test. This is important. So you'll, you'll see they'll to have to start that placement test. Hardest. So we're going to come out. So as you'll notice, vocabulary and language both have a placement test just like math. There are also spelling lists. These lists are generated based on what grade level um, your student is entered in. And um, when they click term, on this term, as in the president is elected to a four year term. When, you're, when it's correct, it gives unit, them this. As in, our army unit was the first one to march. If we get it wrong, it tells us how to spell it, gives us the opportunity to come up and correct it, and then it lets us know if it's corrected. This is spelling. These sort. words are, dim, are, are selected based on the grade level that they're entered in onto Moby Max. Another option are, um, they, they do have reading, there are reading stories in here. Um, I know that upper grades use read works, but there are also stories. All right, as you know, these can, um, I'm coming back to the home, but those are just a few things that you might want want to use um, on Moby Max. They're pretty easy, um, very easy to set up, things that I can do for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask.